Hi everyone, Donut here, and I was talking to Lieutenant Gregory Foster of the Fairbanks Police Department the other day, and he was like, hey Donut, we got into another shooting this week, and it was crazy. Wait a minute, you don't know who Gregory Foster is of the Fairbanks Police Department? He was trying to be modest about this, but I told him I was going to make a video about him. On August 30th of 2016, James Richards of Fairbanks, Alaska thought it would be a good idea to drink a bunch of booze, smoke a bunch of weed, and then do a bunch of meth and rob some people inside of a hotel. He busted up in a hotel room, fired a gun a few times, and demanded cash and drugs from people who were inside of this room. Richards pistol whipped two people. They ended up struggling over his gun. He fired a shot. Three people ended up being hospitalized over the incident, and the Fairbanks Police Department was called to the scene. The Fairbanks police officers showed up as Richards was walking away. They asked him a total of 55 times to drop the gun and surrender. Instead of surrendering, he decided to take an elderly man as a hostage. That's when Sergeant Gregory Foster comes into play. He waits for the hostage taker to get close enough to him to fire a across the hostage and hit the hostage taker in the head twice. Don't do it! Please put it down! Please put it down! You guys may have seen this before. I made an entire video about this incident. I can link that in the comments below. It was an amazing shot. Actually, it was an amazing two shots. Both shots hit Richards right in the dome. The elderly hostage was okay, and the Fairbanks Police Department saved the day. In between the incident last year and the incident that I just spoke with Gregory Foster about, he was promoted to lieutenant. Congratulations! The incident that we're about to talk about happened on June 19th of this year, and it was pretty nutty. A 21-year-old man named Matthew Stover picked the wrong police department to try and have a gun battle with. When I first talked to Lieutenant Foster about this, he said that the guy was wearing North Hollywood shootout-style body armor, and he wasn't wrong. This dude was covered from head to toe in armor. He had taped armor onto his legs, on his neck, on his arms, and he even had a ballistic face mask on. Along with his body armor, he was carrying an AR-15 that was fully loaded, he had four fully loaded magazines on his chest, and he had seven fully loaded magazines sitting in the passenger seat of his truck. He was also carrying a Glock millimeter with several magazines so needless to say he thought he was gonna get into an epic firefight but it didn't work out that way reports state that the Fairbanks police were first alerted to Stover because he had pointed a gun at somebody behind a Denny's officers ended up tracking him to an open area beside a jail and because he decided to have a firefight beside a jail we have some pretty good camera footage of the whole thing here is where Gregory Foster comes into play again officers had surrounded the white truck that the suspect was in and Gregory Foster drove up behind him in his patrol car talking on the loudspeaker to distract him. This is when Stover decides that it's his time to create a name for himself. He played GTA 5 enough times to know what was going to happen, so he jumps out of his car and takes off at a full sprint towards Gregory Foster while firing his rifle. But he didn't go out in a blaze of glory. He took about five steps before the Fairbanks Police Department completely annihilated him. Looks like playing on that GTA 5 didn't pay off and he's just an idiot. We were talking about this the other night in my chat. Someone made the comment like, hey, Gregory, you should have sent a rookie to go up and distract him. Gregory said, no, I'm not going to send someone to do something I wouldn't do. That's a leader right there, boys and girls. Gregory, I know you wanted to be modest about this, but hey, good job, dude. Good job. This was awesome. Everyone, this is Donut, and please have a fantastic weekend.